All right. Today's daily Oracle message card. This one is the waxing crescent moon. Have faith in your dreams. Isn't that a cool little picture? I just love it. Little butterfly. I think there was butterflies in yesterday's card too. What do butterflies symbolize and represent for you? I think that's a big question that's coming in right now. What does butterfly represent for you? Because it's been showing up in the last couple Oracle card readings. This Oracle card comes from the Moonology Oracle deck by Yasmin Boland. And her deck, the, the images are just really straightforward, simple. It's all the different types of moons out there. The messages are also really simple, straight to the point. Some people like that. Some people don't. I think it's fun to throw in every once in a while. But for this Oracle reading, as I'm filming it, it is the Aquarius full moon. That's why I pulled from the Moonology Oracle deck. But of course, it's a timeless reading. So whenever you are tuning into this video, there's probably a little nugget of information that could resonate with you. So something I like to contemplate, especially really anytime, but there's something about a full moon. I've always just been drawn to the moon and there's all different theories about the moon, but I've always loved the moon. I always see the moon in the sky. And for me, it just kind of brings in that internal connection of where am I at? And this is the question I like to ask, like, where am I mentally, emotionally, spiritually, and physically? Am I ready to manifest what I'm really calling out to God, source, creator of the universe? Like, am I ready on all those levels to really step in and call in the new version of me or the, the next level version of me? So mentally, physically, emotionally, spiritually, am I ready? So I throw that out there because this is a great time to connect in with yourself. And I love this card because it says, have faith in your dreams. Have faith in your dreams. You'll have more faith in your dreams when you are aligning yourself on those different levels, those different mentally, spiritually, emotionally, physically levels, because none of us are perfect. We're always kind of ebbing and flow each of with each of those things, wanting to learn more information, get a better daily practice, those types of things. But one thing that you can do to get yourself closer to keeping the faith and seeing the true fruition of your heart's desires is to make sure you're in alignment on those levels, mentally, physically, emotionally, spiritually. So I'll read a quick little excerpt from the guidebook. Of course, I post all the information about the Oracle deck, it, where you can buy it, a link down below. Also, I have the guidebook picture and descriptions on my Instagram. I love this one. <laughs> the first sentence is don't give up. The situation you're asking about is still taking shape. You're nowhere near the end of the story. Whatever is happening now is just a step along the way. And then um, it's a reminder that you must still keep working towards whatever it is that you want. If you can't take practical steps, spend time meditating on the question you're asking about and allow your higher self to download information to you about your best next step. Overall, this card suggests that there's every reason to be hopeful for a very positive outcome to the situation you're asking about. So keep the faith. It kind of goes on to a little, little hints on, you know, helpful things that you can do to do that. But I was just called to share connecting in mentally, physically, emotionally, spiritually. What practices do you have in place to help you feel like you're in alignment, stay in alignment, become in better alignment? you know intuitively what those little tweaks and modifications need to be. But that is today's Oracle reading. My name is Yaila, and I will see you tomorrow. Have a great day.